up, dude? You're Fuka Yamagishi, right? Yes. <laughs> Relax. There's no need to be nervous. Why don't you have a seat? Everyone, you did an excellent job uncovering the truth. I also wanted to let you know, the three girls have all regained consciousness. What a relief. From what I understand, they each came to school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. They were attacked by shadows near the gate as the dark hour began. However, the facts became twisted because of rumors concerning a ghost story. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. Are you kidding? You were the victim. But I made so many people worry. 
Hey, don't think like that. We could have lost that fight if you weren't there. You saved our lives. You should feel good about yourself. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. You could be a tremendous help to us. Will you lend us your strength? Are you asking me to join you? Mitsuru Senpai? You know, we're not trying to pressure you, so if you need some time to think about it... I'll do it. I'll help you. Are you sure? If you join, you'll have to live here. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay, really. Now then, those special shadows showed up again. We still don't know where they're coming from, but Akihiko is right about one thing. Their appearances seem to coincide with the full moon. We'll take that into consideration from now on. So they're kind of like werewolves then, huh? It's a big advantage for us to know when to expect them. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. Hey, did you hear? Ikoda's in hot water. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but it must be serious. Sexual harassment, maybe. Oh, I can totally see that! Hey, look. It's the ghost girl. Quiet! She can hear you! Um... You in here? Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Yeah. You seem so depressed. Let me know if you need someone to talk to. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama-san? Oh, come on. Just call me Natsuki. Thank you.
up, dude. You've prevailed yet again. But it's funny. It doesn't seem so certain considering the vast potential within you. As a matter of fact, your power seems to have changed quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm very curious about you. Is that okay? Then from now on, we'll be friends. My name is... Pharos. You may call me that if you wish. getting late, so I'll go now. I'm already looking forward to our next meeting.
not just a random shadow. It seems to be guarding this area. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Got it. That's it. The enemy is down. I've been waiting for this. Okay, now!
Stairs that must be mastered by those who would try to pass. So this is an escalator. It looks simple, but one false step and challengers will be mired in exhausting ordeal. Warning, please refrain from going up the down escalator and vice versa. Thank you. And what's this? Please watch your step. There's a pitfall just ahead. It's in the center of this fenced-off area. It's marked with eye-catching signs which state in bold print, Do not enter. Humans frequently crave that which is forbidden to them. This is a crafty snare that goes against the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. A stairway that tests one's wits and a pitfall that tests one's inner strength. Human authorities have a great deal to contend with in their quest to defend the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their plight. Let's continue forth. Our thoughts dedicated to the unsung heroes who love this town so very much. This, this fragrant aroma, it can't be. Oh, you can figure out our secret ingredient just by its smell? Oh, I guess you don't wear those funky clothes for nothing, lady. Well, there ain't a law against takoyaki shops cooking stuff besides octopus. How about it? You want to buy one? It'll make you smile so wide your cheeks will fall off. Cuisine so luscious that one's cheeks fall off. Such a result would cause havoc in reality, but I'd definitely like to experience this. I appreciate the concern, but my curiosity exceeds any monetary. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, one package is only 400 yen. Oh, well then, two packages, please. Thanks! There you go, and come again! This distinct texture... Firm, chewy outer skin. There's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to come across this used as an ingredient in food. The human mind. It is cursed to forever harbor whatever knowledge it gains, whether good or ill. Forgive my reticence, but there are things your kind is better off not knowing. Hmm. There appear to be several dining establishments around. I wish to try all of them. My first priority is to visit something called a manga cafe and obtain the foodstuff known as a smoothie bar. This smoothie bar allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various ingredients. Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. We 
appear to have exhausted the culinary possibilities in this area. Oh my! Are you feeling well? Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. In any event, I have to thank you for the tasty experience. If you don't mind, I'd very much enjoy accompanying you again. Where have you been?
where have you been?
Where have you been? Hi, how is your day?
job, dude. Mind if I interrupt? I was just told by the chairman that he'll be stopping by this evening. When you get back, come to the fourth floor meeting room. Oh, um, okay. I'll see you all later. Koro-chan, give me your paw. Good dog! Oh, hi. Hey, you're back! Oh, he was just walking down the street. Koro-chan, go say hi. His name's Koro-maru. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Oh! This dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest of the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. That explains it. Well, until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? It was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog sits patiently by the sight of the accident. And he goes for a walk every day, just like when his owner was still alive. Oh, shoot, I have to get going. My son will be back soon. Oh, you're such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Sorry. Wait, isn't the chairman coming today? Then we should go get ready. Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. This concerns those shadows that have been appearing during full moons. I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories, according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. It's like their class or order. Now, I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and it's simply fascinating. And? Oh, sorry. Ahem. <clears throat> Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. Is that something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There's 12 in all. Eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Fuka. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question. And that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. 
They feed on their minds. It can be considered predation, but is it really? Is there an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole, that's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last, so we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. What about Tartarus? Why does it even exist?
job, dude. This way, officer. By the time I realized the door was halfway open, his room was already in this state. I've left the place untouched as you requested. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a junior. I've been attempting to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last 30 minutes. It was careless of me to let my guard down. This dorm has been attacked in the past. Security is everyone's concern, but if anything happens to him, it's ultimately my responsibility. I hate to say it, Miss Kirijo, but this is most likely... Huh? Mitsuru-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to contact you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot and the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe and fell asleep. <sighs> well, I'm just glad you're safe. But if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Theft? What else could it be? Someone clearly tore through the room looking for something. Vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that he or she is executed. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. How about it, Iori? Was this room in fact vandalized? Uh... <laughs> Well, my room always looks like this. W what? B but you can't possibly live here in this state, can you? A and the door was open. Oh, right. I wanted to air the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... I think this case is closed. May I return to my duties, Miss Kiri Jo? Uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to see something so disgraceful. I apologize for all this. It seems my upbringing may have been more sheltered than I realized. Come on, at least yell at me or something. What's the deal with you calling the police over a messy room anyway? What did I do to deserve this? Hey, wait. That fortune I drew on the way back, it was... worst luck. Are you surprised? Truth be told, we all visit this world every night. What are you saying? 
Who the hell are you? Didn't mommy teach you any manners? You haven't introduced yourself. Take a look. Name, address, age, etc. This is you, right? Where did you get this? Somebody's got a grudge against you, and they asked us to get revenge. Revenge? What kind of bullshit is this? Who put you up to this? Can't tell you. We're professionals. Professionals? Oh shit. You mean the rumors on the net are true? Hey, w wait, wait, I haven't done anything! Why me? What did I do? That is not our concern. Your notion of right and wrong is irrelevant. My client's wishes are all that matter. People hear what they choose to hear and believe what they want to believe. No! Stay away! Get away from me! You squeal most magnificently. Such raw emotion. He's not dead. Doesn't matter. We've held up our end of the bargain. Besides, tomorrow this will just seem like some random crime. If there's nothing else, I'm feeling rather tired.
Hi, how are you today? Just one? I'll have what he's having. Coming right up. One house special! How can you eat the same thing all the time without getting sick of it? Shut up. You always eat that protein shit. <laughs> Here you go, one house special. Be careful, it's hot. You still haven't made up your mind? Is that what this is about? We've got four new members. Things have changed quite a bit since you left. We're more aggressive now. I'm not interested. Think about it, Shinji. Don't let your power go to waste. My power ain't worth shit. Shinji! I made up my mind a long time ago. I ain't going back. You have to let the past go. What's done is done. It's time you moved on. <laughs> you should talk. What? Face it. You're no different than me. Welcome back.
Welcome back. Where have you been?
Sorry to bother you, Fuka. It's okay. What's on your mind? Well, um... I was hoping you could do me a favor. With your skill. I was doing some research on our school. And I came across something strange. Ten years ago, a lot of students missed school for some reason. They were reported as absent. But I found some records that suggest it was something serious. Do you know anything about it, Fuka? Me? Um, not really. I know it was a long time ago, but... Doesn't it seem suspicious to you? From what I've heard, this isn't the first time shadows have appeared. Wait, are you saying... I don't know, but I wonder... And I'm not trying to make trouble, but... Mitsuru Senpai acts kind of weird whenever someone asks questions about Tartarus. Does she? I just want to know what happened back then. If it doesn't have anything to do with the shadows, then fine. I understand. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Welcome back. How was your day? watching over this area. Give me a sec. I'll All start right, the target. You got it. Understood. Obey my command. Such persistence. 
system. Let's go! I couldn't finish it off. I'll have to sit this one out. are getting stronger as well. Okay? I'll come again.
and where have you been? What's up, dude?
Where have you been? How was your day? Hi, how was your day?
节。Any luck, Fuka? Just a moment. I found it. I sense a strong presence. Hey, we were right. Or so it would seem. It's located in Iwatodai, inside a building on Shirakawa Boulevard. Hmm. Shirakawa Boulevard. They've been finding the lost in pairs lately. Now I understand why. In pairs? Huh. Oh, I get it. Why? What's on Shirakawa Boulevard? I'm not familiar with that area. I've heard about it, but... That's where all those hotels are. That explains a lot. You've heard about them, right, Fuka? Where people go to, you know. Nonsense. They're no different than ordinary hotels. The rooms are a bit fancier, that's all. Oh man, that's it? I don't know about this. Maybe I shouldn't go. You're just like a little kid, Yucatan. Whatever. Fine, let's go. But this time, I want a piece of the action. So, who's gonna take the lead? I don't see any reason to change leaders now. And Yamagishi, I want you to handle support during the operation. I'll do my best. All right, then I'll let you decide on the rest of the team. Let's do this.
Listen, I'll scan the target. I can tell you if the enemy's performance has been altered. This will help you when you're in battle.
finally reach you. Can you two hear me? I'm sorry I couldn't contact you sooner. The shadow was interfering with your thoughts. And you all got separated. The enemy is still in the same room. Please regroup and hurry there. Did you hear that, Yukari? Uh, sorry. Yeah, I heard you. Um, did something happen? No! Nothing! Come on, let's go! If you tell anyone, I won't ever speak to you again.
a sec. I'll scan the target. I can do it! Watch it! Light! I summon thee! Let's go! Thanks for your help. The enemy was sly, but you did well. I did what I could. And you too. For withstanding the enemy's mental assault. Alright, let's call it a night. Oh, Yukari! About that thing you mentioned the other day? You found out something? Cool. Tell me later. All right. We should head back, too. Come on, Junpei. What are you doing? So, you're the hero again, huh? Yeah, right. You know it's not. Hey, why do you have to be like that? Don't tell me you're jealous. Shut up! What's up his butt? Faster than I expected. That was quite a show. 
They've been rather busy these last few months, including their frequent forays into the tower. Their fighting style is positively fascinating. And it seems they've gained new recruits, too. Well, Jin, are they our enemy? Why don't we ask our buddy? We'll be seeing him soon. Yes, that's an excellent idea. Considering that he shares our fate, it would be prudent to seek his opinion. We don't have much time left.